welcome to this episode of the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. Thank you so much for joining us. Over the next half hour, we're going to fill you in on all you need to know about Southeastern Athletics. We have a lot of highlights to get to, so we're going to jump right into them as we're going to start by taking a look at the women's basketball program as they were in action at the University Center against McNeese State. Who walks it across the timeline? Around a screen. Now she will pull up and hit the two-pointer. A foot was on the line. Liz Styles with her first field goal of the ball game. Just over a minute gone by. Southeastern Lee suited up. Styles with a left-handed dribble pulls up and hits again. A two-pointer just inside the three-point line, but Styles two for two to get this one started here this evening. Baggett fakes left, goes right. Donez gets and shoot. She dials up a long-distance call, and McNeese is on the board. It's now a four-to-three Southeastern lead. Five to play, first half from the University Center. Down low to Hoskins. Nice pass from Styles. Tamika Hoskins lays it in. She's averaging just under eight points a ball game to go along with eight rebounds. They get it in to Boyd. She goes in, hits the little eight-footer to go off the glass. She has her first field goal on top. Styles around a double screen. Drives, gets the roll. Elizabeth Styles with an early six points. It is a 10-9 McNeese lead. Baggett with the other one was an altered shot. Underwood had the three, unable to hit, and Donez leaks out and gets the Styles working on Johnson. Drive, spins, fires, gets the roll. Elizabeth Styles with eight points, four of five shooting. Johnson wants the three, and she hits Jalen Johnson. She's out there with Donez Baggett, who has it now. They swing it over to Johnson. She drives, kicks back to Donez, and they're starting to heat up from three because they've hit their last two from downtown. Nana Poole drives, gets the roll. Nana with her first field goal. Good pass to Poole, running the floor. Nana Poole with the lay-in. Hernandez found her. Poole rewarded is to bag it. Now she goes right, gets the roll on the little scoop shot off the glass. Nice shot for high school. Down low to Wosa. She kicks it back out and keeps it right off the bench with instant offense. Style skips it across to Hernandez. She gets the little floater from the baseline. Hernandez with her first field goal of the ball game. Hoskins, Jamika looking to push, gets it to Anderson. Nice job trailing by Goose, who gets the lay-in. Hernandez has four, the last four for Southeastern. Anderson this time. And again, Johnson going to go to work. She got around Peaches easily that time. Gets the lay-in. Minutes to play. Styles with the step back three. She got it. The long distance call. It's down to a four point. McNeese lead in for her first action. Hoskins now top of the arc. She drives left. Gets the little scoop shot to go. Lisa Hoskins has five. It's the Styles left wing. Johnson hounding her. Hernandez catch and shoot a long distance call. Dialed up by Erica Hernandez, who has seven in the ball game. She gets it in. Hernandez lays it in. It is down to 12 once again. Team point, McNeese lead 64-50. Styles, good pass down low. Nana Poole lays it in. She's got 12 off the pretty dime from Elizabeth Styles. Tough loss for Coach Yolanda Moore and the Lady Lions basketball program, but they would put that loss behind them and rebound nicely against Northwestern State. Here's the highlights. Keep an eye on both of those stats as we go throughout the ball game. 
Southeastern gets it ahead now to Goose. Back to Liz between the circles. Northwestern comes out in a 2-3 zone. Fielder with a nice catch under the basket. The reverse lay-in, and Southeastern ties it up on the pretty pass from Elizabeth Stiles. By Goose around an Owen screen. Good defense by Goose. She gets into the lane, nearly threw it away. Lee drives around. Fielder, good help from Hoskins, who grabs the rebound. Numbers for Southeastern. All the way, Jamika lays it in. Jamika Hoskins turns defense into offense, and a 4-2 Southeastern lead. Bases. Lee on the left wing, nobody cut her off, and Fielder gave her a baseline with no help. Gets it over to Anderson. Peaches can't hit the three. Fielder with the offensive rebound and the putback. Danny Fielder making her first career start here this afternoon. And she gives Southeastern a 6-4 lead. So Rogers now. She drives, kicks to Lee in the corner. She dials up a long distance call. Keisha Lee from right down the road in Denham Springs. And Lee gets to the rack, misses, and Hoskins grabs the rebound. Gets it ahead to Styles. Anderson spots up and hits the long distance call. Peaches Anderson gives Southeastern a 10-7 lead. Had been Southeastern's leading scorer in a league play as Perez goes right around Hernandez and lays that one in. Ball for Southeastern. They get it into Hoskins, the little turnaround. No good. Fielder right there for the putback and the basket and a timeout called by Northwestern. Perez looks to drive left again, gets it to Osmer. She drives with the right hand and hits. Nice shot there, and it is a two-point game now, 13-11. Down low to Nana. She drives with the left hand, lays it up strong, and it's a 15-11 southeastern lead on Nana Poole's first field. Goose swings it over to Hernandez. Down low to Fielder, up and under. Poole right there as Nana Poole with the putback and southeastern with... Seven second chance points here in the early going in this first half. Hits it back and turns, can't hit. It's knocked around. De La Cruz was undercut as she went up but absorbs the contact, lays it in. Good ball movement from the Lady Lions. Lady Neiman's come out in a press. As Styles gets it ahead now to Poole. Nana with the jump shot from 12 feet, and it's back up to five. It was seven to six, way back at the 1706 mark, but Peaches Anderson dials up a long distance call and gives it right back to Southeastern. 26-24, Peaches Anderson at 10. Anderson wanted to fire. Styles slips, drives, hangs, gets the roll, Elizabeth Styles with her first field goal of the ball game to go along with six assists. Wood has it now in the left corner. Styles drives, kicks to Anderson. Shot clock at one, she fires, can't hit. Fielder has the rebound, puts it up and in. Danny Fielder having a whale of a ball game in her first start, nine points. Southeastern leads it at halftime, 33 to 29. Anderson tracks down the rebound. Goose ahead of the pack. She hits the long distance call. Erica Hernandez with five. She's two of two from the floor, only pool at the elbow. It's it to Liz, she dishes to Goose, who hits from the baseline. Hernandez, perfect from the floor, seven points, and it's a seven-point lead. Fatura driving, and a nice move by her. She gets all the way to the basket. Brings it over to Underwood. Styles down low to pool. Good catch and the foul. 
Dana Pool in double figures with the 11. Northwestern <coughs> refusing to go away. Good catch by Pool again, and she gets the turnaround. Nana Pool with a team high 13. Perez, good challenge by De La Cruz. There's Pool's 10th rebound. She's got a double double. Underwood, she hits the long distance call. Taylor Underwood gives Southeastern a seven point lead. For missed. And here Styles into the front court, gets all the way, gets the roll, and the basket. The bucket and the bruise for Elizabeth Stiles. Swinging around the perimeter. Stiles on the left wing. Drives, kicks it back to Goose. Now to Stiles again in among the trees. She gets the little kiss off the glass. Elizabeth Stiles with eight points. Stiles goes to work. Hernandez fires. Big shot from Goose on the baseline. And a timeout taken by Northwestern. And it's stolen by Hoskins. She is out ahead of the pack. She lays it in, and that will pretty much seal it for Southeastern against Northwestern here tonight. 11.1 left. So congratulations to the Lady Lion basketball program as they knock off Northwestern State. The Lady Demons came into that ball game number one as in first place in the Southland Conference. Let's go ahead and take a break. When we come back, we'll have more for you right here on the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. Hello, beautiful. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hi, Anthony. How much did my discount double check save me? About 150. Done. I don't have State Farm, but insurance, find me money. I got you a dollar. Oh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. Having insurance isn't the same as having State Farm. There to help you with unexpected savings. That's getting to a better state. This is Sean. We saw him holding a Bud Light, which means he's up for whatever happens. In this case, Jimmy Johnson. Ah, Jimmy Johnson, <laughs> challenge you to a little football game. Don't get nervous. Are we ready? I'm ready. Jimmy Johnson has dominated the electric football circuit. Yeah, look at the little Jimmy run. He's hurt. He's pushing through. He's pushing through. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, it's a but like the perfect beer for whatever happens. head coach of your Lady Lions softball team. Softball season will be here before you know it. As our fall season comes to a close, fans don't forget to purchase tickets to the 14th annual Tangy Tourism Lion Classic season opener. For ticket information, visit lionsports.net or call 549-LION. See you in the spring and don't forget to lion up. Welcome back to the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. We're now going to turn our attention to the men's basketball program under Coach Jay Ladner as they were recently in action against McNeese State at the UC for Jam the Jungle Night. On the right side. Hardy near side Burr. Burr's going to drive into the corner. Garrett for three good. And Garrett has the first buckets of the night. That is his 35th tray of the year, 117 for the team. The floor dribble on the right side. Down low to Upson. Devontae going to spin, had it knocked away. Jenkins picks it up. He'll lay it up and in. Right place, right time. We're tied 3-3. Jenkins has all of the lion points here. Four minutes gone by, first half. Around the perimeter, Hardy's got it. Right wing down in the corner. Three ball on the way here. Rattles around, but it'll stay. And a three ball for Garrett. He's got a couple of threes, and it's 6-3 Cowboys. They left-handed dribble back to Jenkins. Right side down low to Ochi. Ochi lays it up and in. Nice ball movement by the Lions. Ochi's got his first bucket. 6-5 McNeese. Up to Burr, up top. Down in the far corner, Lewis, jumper. 
Two ball, 16 footer from the corner. Well, McNeese has hit their last two shots. One in there tight. Here's Hardy driving. Three ball from the near corner. Good. As Guidry hit the three. Greaves in the far corner. Down low to Ochi. Ochi powers it up and in. Good. Counted in the foul. Off balance layup. Found a way to go in. Ochi trying to polish off a three point play. 13 8 McNeese. Free throw on the way. That one good. Ochi with a three point play. Gets them back to within four here. Greaves. Greaves going to drive baseline. Wrap around pass to Ochi. Lost the handle. Six turnover against the Lions here. McNeese quickly down the floor and a layup counted and the foul. That's a good thing. Duplis is down to Barclay. Up top, Jackson. Zay sits up, shoots a three. Off the glass, banks open. <laughs> Jackson up high to get to rebound. Zay coast to coast, free throw line, going to take it off the glass. That one's no good. Rebound ups and powers it back up and in. Devontae's got a bucket. That is his first bucket of the night, 18-14. Lions on a 5-0 run. Daniel, middle of the floor, finds Zay. Jackson, a little weaving his way through traffic, going to take it, lay it up. Good, counted in the foul. 18-16, Lions have scored seven straight. Zay's at the line to try to polish off the three-point play. Foul is on Hardy. Daniel in the middle of the floor, top of the key. Back to the near side, Jackson down in the corner to Plissis. To Plissis is going to drive, take it, wrap around pass. Upson slam dunk. And we're tied, 18-18. Nice ball movement by the Lions. They've scored nine in a row. They're on a 9-0 run. We're tied at 18. Johnson, Johnson, couple of drives. Long three ball up front. Good by Guidry. Shot down about three feet beyond the arc. 21-18 ends a 9-0 Lion run. Pass near side to Plissis. Shuffle pass to Greaves. Daniel tried to force it in the middle now to Barclay. Another turnover against the Lions. Hardy's going to take it, lay it up, and a charge on Hardy. No good. And the rebound to Upson, who finds Jenkins. Devontae hustled down, just took it away. Now Devontae takes the pass from Jenkins. Left-handed layup. He finger rolls it up and in. It's off the mark. No good. A rebound to Jenkins. Cedric across the way. Back to Duplissis. Duplissis near side Jackson. Jackson on the right wing. In the middle of Jenkins. Jenkins lays it up and in. Nice give and go. And the Lions lead 22-21. Cowboys looking to get it in. Duplissis with the block on the shot of Agachi. Jenkins now the pass from Jackson. Lays it up and in. Count it and the foul. Got a chance to make it a one-point ball game. Cedric, one out of two from the line so far. Free throw coming here, good. 26-25, the Lions four out of seven from the free throw line here. Went up high, got the rebound. Duplissis is going to drive middle of the paint. Give it to Ochi. Ochi with a head fake. Going to turn, lay it up. Good, got it, and the foul. 3.18 to go. Ochi's free throw on the way. Good. Five out of eight. We're back up top. Shot clock at 10. Pottier left alone. Three ball there. Good. Knocked it 10. They dared him to shoot, and he did. 29-28. 2.30 left. Jackson to Jenkins. Jenkins going to drive baseline. Take it. Lay it up. And that one good. High arching shot off the glass. Cedric got it to fall. 30 to 29 with 2.20 to go first hand. They had it for a moment. Cowboys working it around the horn. Three ball on the way here. Good. Three ball by Guidry. And it's 32-30. Dean, Cowboys by one. 32-31. Bears sets up, shoots a three, no good. Rebound right to Jenkins. Down the floor to Ochi. Ochi's going to take it, slam it home. 33-32 with a minute 10 to go. 10-8. Jackson to Duplissis. Duplissis lost the handle, got it back, shot off the glass. How we good? Duplissis got it to fall. Two, Greaves to steal at the buzzer. Jenkins for three, can't get it to go. A thin bench that's even thinner with Fillmore not available tonight, and they lead 35-34 at the half. Gidry back to Burr. Shot clock at five. Three ball on the way here. Good. Three ball hit by Garrett on the right wing. 37-35, Cowboys. Wrap around pass to Cedric. Back to Jackson. Zay for three on the way. Good. We're tied. 38-38. Two out of seven from downtown tonight. The Lions, Jackson's got both of them. In the middle there, backdoor cut and a dunk by Lewis. Devontae! Devontae got picked off. They do. Hardy has it left wing. Up top, three ball by Guidry. Good. 43-38. Guidry, baseline drive now. Back to Guidry on the pass. Guidry's jumper good. 
Three ball up top. Jackson. Zay's now going to drive back to Jenkins. Cedric sets up for three on the way. That one good. Cedric's first three ball of the night. Boy, it'd be great if he got hot. They'll skip it across. Three ball on the way from Garrett. Off to Mark. No good. Ochi out there to Jenkins. Down the floor to Greaves. Greaves going to take it. Slam it home. 46-43. Cedric Jenkins everywhere tonight. So there you have it. There are the highlights as the Lions take on McNeese State at the University Center. Let's go back out to the UC as we're going to hear from Coach Jay Ladner and some of his players about the game against the Cowboys. Thought we had some really good possessions against the zone, but the bottom line is we turned the ball over 23 times. They turned it over seven. You know, we lose by, ended up losing by 13. We win the rebounding battle by 10. Uh, they, they, they shoot 39% from the field. We shoot 49%, and you know, normally those are winning numbers, but the one number that was, there was such a disparity was the, the turnover, uh, turnover ratios. The mindset uh, coach teaches us to have is next man up. I mean, we prepare everybody for everybody to be, from the beginning of the season, we prepare for everybody to be in different areas and not just learn in one position to be prepared for situations like this when we have injuries. Um, I mean, it's definitely not an excuse. I mean, we would love to be at full strength, but it's college basketball, I mean, there's times where you just got to patch it up and keep going. Well, there you have it. Make sure you check lionsports.net for a complete schedule of the men's and women's basketball team. Still plenty of chances here in 2015 to catch the men's and the ladies' basketball team here at Southeastern. Let's go ahead and take a break. When we come back, we'll have more right here on the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. Aaron, you're all set. Great, thanks. Mike, thanks for doing that discount double check. You saved us hundreds. What was that? The discount double check? It's when we comb through your policies and make sure that you're getting all the discounts you deserve. No, I get that part, but you guys are doing my move. The discount double check move? That's my touchdown dance. You're a dancer? I'm a quarterback. Oh, quarterback. More. I'm a robot. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here. Aaron Rodgers got his, how about you? Count on Patty Hubert and Puntatula for the discounts you deserve. Let's hear it for Bud Light, the perfect beer for when you take over a town, make me the mayor, call it whatever you say. Then pack it to the brim with so much spontaneous, never thought I'd be doing this awesomeness that it's hard to believe we actually pulled it off. Right? <gasps> Body bowling, roller disco, Bud Light, tiny cars, tiny horses, big celebrities, Bud Light, dancing, karaoke, Bud Light, whatever that is. This guy, this girl, oh my, wow, look at that. Bud Light and Bud Light, then put it on the internet for everyone to see. And whatever else happened. Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens. Find out more at upforwhatever.com. Hi, I'm Pete Langlois, head coach of your Lady Lions softball team. Softball season will be here before you know it. As our fall season comes to a close, fans, don't forget to purchase tickets to the 14th annual Tangy Tourism Lion Classic season opener. For ticket information, visit lionsports.net or call 549-LION. See you in the spring, and don't forget to lion up. Welcome back to the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. It won't be long when the baseball team will be getting underway as the defending Southland Conference Tournament champions were recently in action in an inter-squad matchup. We had a chance to catch up with Matt Reiser and also take a look at some of those highlights. Here's Damon Sunday with the story. With the season opener just a week away, preseason practice for the Southeastern Louisiana baseball team is in full swing at Pat Keneally Diamond at Alumni Field. The defending Southland Conference Tournament champs, Southeastern was picked to finish third this coming season in the conference's preseason polls released last week. 
And through preseason practice, Coach Reiser's liked what he's seen so far. You know, I think the good part about it was uh, in, in the last two weeks, what you've seen is that they definitely went back home and, and prepared. Uh, they knew the fall was going to be long, uh, and we put the system in, uh, and then we knew the break was going to be long. They had six, seven weeks on their own that they had to make sure they went and you know, took care of their business in the weight room, took care of their business from an uh, office standpoint, from a defensive standpoint, just get all their work in, and, and they did. Uh, they came back fresh. Uh, they looked good as far as you know, um, remembering the system and the plays and whatnot, so to speak, uh, and the effort's been good so far. Southeastern returns just four seniors, highlighted by Louisville Slugger preseason All-American Brett Hoffman. Seniors Kevin Carr and Jacob Williams saw significant time in the starting lineup last season after transferring in. And right-hander Kyle Keller earned a start in 12 of his 14 appearances on the mound, and he'll help anchor a staff that has some new faces. Yeah, you know, Tate's done a fantastic job, had a great summer for us in the, in the Cape Cod uh, this past summer and, and did a good job this fall and is definitely our number one. You know, uh, you get the question, how do you replace an Andre Jatori? You don't. Uh, you hope to, to mold another guy like a Tate C, you know, with the more year, more experience uh, into a guy like Andre. And he's done a fantastic job of coming out as our number one. Uh, the junior college guys we brought in have done a fabulous job as well. You'll see them in a weekend rotation, Jake Johnson, Dominic Carlini, uh, and then Kyle Setatal has really come on strong, you know, kind of a more of an offensive guy last year for us. Also, we expect a lot more off on the bump uh, from, a, from a pitching standpoint, and you should see him on Sundays as well. So I uh, think really got a chance to be a, a, probably one of the deeper staffs we've had. The Lions open the season at home February 13th with a three-game series against Louisiana Tech. And Southland action commences March 6th at Incarnate Word. I always enjoy playing playing in-state opponent. Uh, early, obviously, getting that rivalry going. We get to kind of see the, the tournament setting from a, from a regional standpoint. When we go up to UTA, we'll play a good UTA bunch in Michigan State up there as well, uh, who had a couple guys in the Cape Cod this summer as well. So, uh, you know, and then obviously get the Big Ten team down here, see a new face as well. So I think uh, overall, you know, the, if you look at non-conference-wise, it's kind of a chance to, to get some new faces in there and get some new blood in there uh, and really prepare for Conference. The atmosphere at the pad is a big, uh, uh, a big attribute for us. You know, the, the, the guys enjoy playing at home, enjoy playing in front of our fans. Uh, they do a good job. It might not be the, the 3,000, 4,000 fans you might have in the SEC, but uh, they're just as rowdy and just as loud. I think you saw that support last year at regionals. Uh, you know, not only did we make some noise from a team standpoint, but our, our fans did well. We traveled well and it made a lot of noise, and uh, our guys will be excited to get back in front of them. For more info on the 2015 Southeastern baseball team or to buy your tickets, check out Lions sports.net. So there you have it. We're looking forward to another exciting baseball season here in the spring of 2015 as Coach Reiser has put a tremendous product on the field once again. Also, it was recently National Signing Day for Southeastern football. On our next show, we're going to have a complete breakdown of all the signees right here on the Southeastern Sports Report. But for now, that's going to do it for us. So once again, thank you to State Farm as we'll see you next time right here on the Southeastern Sports Report.